Welcome to K Catalog, your Taglish Korean compilation. If you're new to this channel, baka gusto mong i-check yung previous lesson natin. Also, you may hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Again, I suggest that you have a pen and paper with you or anything that you can use to jot down some notes and magagamit mo to practice writing. Level 1 Beginner A Dan Won Sam Now let's start by memorizing the following words in Korean because moving forward, hindi na yung mga English term yung ilalagay ko sa lesson but yung Korean words na mismo. So we have noun, verb, adjective. So in Korean, myong sa, dong sa, hyong yong sa. So you have to remember those three. For today's grammar, we have ayo, ayo, and heyo. So, these are attached after a verb or an adjective, and it indicates the end of a statement or a question in its present tense. So, pag may gusto kong sabihin a statement or question using present tense, you add ayo or oyo o kaya heyo dun sa verb or sa adjective. So, unahin natin yung hyong yong sa or adjective plus ayo or oyo. Here's a list of adjectives and if you will notice, these are antonyms or mga magkakasalungat na salita. So, I'm going to read from the left side first by pair and then sa right side naman. So, first we have sada bisada. Sada means cheap, bisada means expensive. Next, kuda, jakta. Kuda, big, jakta, small. Next, Oryopta, shripta. Oryopta, difficult, shripta, easy. Sa right side naman, manta, jokta. Manta, many, jokta, little or few. Next, matitta, matopta. So, matitta means yummy or delicious and then matopta means yucky or not delicious, hindi masarap. Next, we have chupta. Dopta. Chupta means cold. Dopta means hot. Next, we have Jemi itta, Jemi opta. So, it's funny or interesting and the other one is boring or not funny at all. Next, tingnan muna natin yung picture ng girl sa right side. So, we have Chota and Napuda. Chota means good. Napuda means bad or not good. And then, yung sa baba, yung picture ng rose, yepuda, and then bapuda. So, ito, hindi sila antonyms. So, totally different words sila. Yepuda means pretty, and bapuda means busy. Next, we have apuda and bega gopuda. Apuda means sick or ill, and then bega gopuda means hungry. Again, we're going to discuss first yung hyong yung sa plus ayo oyo conjugation. So here, it's a conversation between Earring and Angela. So sabi ni Earring, Bangi mashi soyo. So tinatanong ni Earring if masarap daw ba yung bread. And sagot si Angela, Ne, mashi soyo. Yes, it's tasty. So here, mashita, from the word mashita, ginawa siyang mashi soyo. Now, let's check the other conversation. Here, sabi ni Ga, Sagwaga sayo. And then, sumagot si na, Anio sagwaga bisayo. So, isa-isahin natin. Kanina, sa list of adjectives, we have sada, which means cheap, and bisada, which means expensive. So, naging sayo and bisayo sila dito sa conversation. Sagwa means apple, so yung sagwaga sayo, it means are the apples cheap? And then yung sagot na anio sagwaga bisayo, it means no, apples are expensive. Then yung nasa baba naman, hanggu gonen shi wayo, yung gonen arya wayo. So hanggu go, it means Korean language, and then yung it means English. Shriwayo from the word shripta, it means easy. Aryawayo from the word aryapta means difficult. So it means the Korean language is easy and the English language is difficult. 
So, nandiyan ulit sa baba yung mga words na ginamit natin. And if napansin nyo kanina dun sa list of adjectives natin, yung mga words are in dictionary form, if I may say. So, ibig sabihin nun, lagi siyang may da sa dulo. So, sada, bisada, tripta, oryopta. Now, let's check yung naka-encircle. So, si ayo, ginamit siya kay sada, manta, chota. So, naging sayo, manayo, juwayo. And then, si oyo, kinamit siya sa word na matita, yepda, chupta. So, naging mashi, sayo, yepoyo, chuwoyo. The rule is, if the adjective's final vowel is the vowel a or o, we add ayo. So, yung example natin, sada, bisada, manta, jakta, chuta, mamaya i-discuss natin. And then another one, if the adjective's final vowel is not the vowel a or o, so if hindi si a or o, let's say for example, si vowel o, yo, u, i, or u yung nakita nyo, then we add o, yo. We have our example, jokta, mat, itta, mat, opta, chupta, oryopta. So, discuss natin sila isa-isa. Doon muna tayo sa what if the adjective's final vowel is a or o. So, doon tayo sa pag-a-add ng ayo. So, again, ito yung mga example natin kanina. So, the first thing that we have to do, aalisin natin siya sa dictionary form. And we'll do that by removing the da doon sa dulo. So, tanggalin natin yung da 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 nila and magiging sa, bisa, man, jack, cho. And then, yung next step is titingnan natin ngayon yung final vowel nila. Again, the one that we're going to check is yung final vowel, hindi yung consonant or yung final letter. Kung ano yung pinakalas na vowel. So, check natin yung mga example words natin. So, sa, ang last vowel niya is a. Bisa, last vowel a. Next, we have man. From the word manta, so final vowel din niya is a, although meron siyang final consonant na ni yun and hi yun sa baba. Again, yung final vowel yung titingnan natin. And same for jack. And ganun din kay jo. So yun, nakita natin, na-confirm natin na yung final vowel nila is either a or o. Now, we're going to add ayo. So kanina, naka-underlay yung sa at saka bisa kasi... Nung dinagdag na natin si ayo, hindi siya naging sa ayo or bisa ayo. Unlike si man, si jack, at saka si jo, as in yung buong ayo yung dinagdag natin. Kaya naging manayo, jagayo, jowayo. Pero kay sayo and bisayo, yung yo lang yung dinagdag natin. So, you just have to remember na kapag yung word is walang other letters or consonant na kasunod, as in si ana yung final letter or final vowel, then you just have to add yo. So, just like here sa example natin, kapag sinulat mo is sa ayo or bisa ayo, then that's wrong. You just have to write sayo and bisayo. Next, what if the adjective's final vowel naman is not an a or o? So, halimbawa yung last vowel is o, yo, or u, u, i. Then, we add Oh, yo. So, example words ulit natin yung kanina. And again, the first step is to remove the da sa bawat salita. So, so magiging ganyan na sila. And, tingnan nyo yung chup at saka oryop sa baba. So, may underline ulit sila. So, explain ko yan later. So, tingnan ulit natin yung final vowel. So, confirm natin if it's not a or o. So, here, we have o for jock. And then, vowel u for ku. Mashit is vowel e. Masop, vowel o. Chup, vowel u. And then, oryop, vowel yo. So, none of them is a or o. That's why we're going to add o yo. So, they will become chaga yo, ka yo, mashisa yo, madopsa yo. Chuwayo, Oryawayo. Now, tingnan natin si Chuwayo at saka si Oryawayo. So, if you'll notice, naka-yellow yung wo-wo. So, bakit naging wo 
dapat di ba oyo bakit naging woyo woyo so kanina naka underline yung dalawa chup and oryop kasi yung final consonant nila is the consonant biyup so ito may special rule yung mga words na may biyup consonant sa ilalim kapag nagconjugate kayo may tendency na may special rule sila so Maaring malito pa kayo sa ngayon, pero paunti-unti, i-discuss yan as we move forward. So, here, since letter B or consonant B yup, yung last consonant ni Chupta and Oryopta, so, ang rule doon is, tatanggalin mo yung B yup consonant. So, if you'll notice, from Chup, naging Chu na lang siya, and from Oryop, naging Oryo na lang siya. And then, yung B yup na tinanggal natin, papalitan natin ng U. That's why naging chu, u, oryo, u, at saka natin dinagdag ngayon si oyo. So, naging chu, woyo, oryo, woyo. Again, this is a special case for words that have biyup consonant. So, clear na tayo dun sa vowel a, o ending and dun sa hindi a, o ang ending. Now, meron pang isa. What if the adjective's final vowel is the vowel e? So we have example words here. We have yepuda, bapuda, begupuda, apuda, silpuda. When you encounter words like this, sometimes ginagamit si ayo, sometimes si oyo. So paano natin ma distinguish kailan gagamitin si ayo or si oyo kapag U yung final vowel. So, first, again, tatanggalin muna natin si da. So, notice na after tanggalin si da, lahat sila u u u na yung final vowel. So, ngayon ang gagawin natin, i-check naman natin kung ano yung vowel na nauna bago yung u. So, here, we have vowel ye sa ye pu, and then vowel a sa ba pu, and then vowel o sa be go pu, Vowel A ulit sa A P, and then vowel U sa Sil P. So, isa-isahin natin sila. So, balik tayo dun sa if it's A or O, we add ayo. And if it's not A or O, then we add oyo. Try natin sa first word natin na yep da. Tinanggal natin yung da, naging yep. And then, chinek natin yung vowel before the U. That's vowel ye. That's why Oyo yung ididikit natin. So, idadrop natin yung vowel u and i-add natin si oyo. So, magiging ye pa yo. Ye puda, ye pa yo. And then, next, si ba puda. Ba pu, drop natin si vowel u and then check natin yung naunang vowel which is vowel a. So, we add ayo. So, from ba puda, magiging Bapayo. Next, bego puda. Drop si da, and then, drop din natin si u. Ang vowel before the u is vowel o. So, we will add ayo. It will become bego payo. Bego payo. And then, ganun din kay apuda. Drop the da, and drop mo din si u. Since vowel a yung nauna, we add ayo, so it will become a payo. And last one, silpuda, drop the da and u, and the vowel before that is u then. So kapag ganito, automatic oyo na din yung idadagdag natin. So it will become silpayo. Now, balikan natin yung example adjectives natin kanina. Gawin natin siyang ayo or oyo. So, sada, bisada. It will become sayo, bisayo. Kuda, jagda. Koyo, jagayo. Oryopta, shripta. Orya, woyo. Shri, woyo. Now for the remaining words, try to answer it and I'll leave that blank and you can comment down below for the answers. Here we have jemi itta. So it will be jemi isayo. How about jemiopta? Next, jota will be chowayo. How about napuda? Next, yepuda will be yepayo. How about 
바쁘다. 아프다 will be 아파요. How about 배가 고프다? Again, you can comment down below for your answers. Next slide, we have again example picture and keywords sa baba. So we have 의자, which means chair, and then manta means many. So yung first speech box natin sabi, 의자가 많아요. So, andito ulit yung subject marker natin na E and ga and yung diniscuss natin na ayo or oyo. Again, sabi, uy, jaga, manayo, madami daw bang chairs and based dun sa picture natin, ang sagot niya is ne, uy, jaga, manayo. So, using the subject marker E or ga plus yung lesson natin for today which is adjective plus ayo or oyo, then we can simply form a sentence or questions in a descriptive manner. Kagaya nung example natin, Ijaga manayo? Ne, Ijaga manayo. So, for numbers 1, 2, and 3 sa baba, sa baba ng bawat picture, we have subject and adjective. So, for number 1, we have yung subject natin is yung bag or kabang. And then, yung adjective or hyong yung sa natin is jakta. And then, number 2, we have check, chemit. Ta. Number three, ang subject natin is kwajang nim and then yung adjective natin is bapuda. So, try nyo using the example above. So, here's a number two sa taas. Ang sabi dyan, chingu haku yagi hebu sayo. So, if you have a friend with you, you can practice speaking. So, exchange kayo ng question and answer. But if not, you can just practice on your own. So, tingnan natin yung first pitch box. Sabi dyan, Hangugo gongbuga oryowoyo. So, is studying Korean language hard or difficult? And then yung sagot, Aniyo chemisayo. No, it's interesting. And so, for numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 sa baba, you can try to answer that on your own. So, I believe by now, you can understand simple questions like this. And at the same time, we can form simple answer or sentences. Based dun sa mga napag-aralan natin na grammars and at the same time, vocabulary. And that's it. Again, if you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to comment down below. And if you find this video helpful or will be beneficial to anyone you know who's interested in Korean language, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. So I still hope to see you in the upcoming videos. And again, thanks for watching.